What do you think, Nine? Would you give me a hand with my research? Of course, if I can be of assistance. You're awfully obedient, aren't you? I was made to be of service to humans. And we are back. So, last time, we got some stuff taken care of with the, um, with, uh, reuniting, uh, Team Londo Bell with the, uh, forces of, uh, the Laplace organization, including Inez Frassange from, uh, Marks and successor in Nantesco. Let me get some things updated here. And now we also unlocked a whole bunch of DLC missions. Alright, so. Quickly update some stuff here. And let some people know that we are stream streaming. In addition to unlocking two emblems, we've also unlocked two more missions here, and then a story mission, or, or sorry, mission as part of the main timeline. Um, the mission, main timeline mission um, gets us an upgrade from Huckabee and Rude Goose. While there's these two, which is general generic story missions. Let's start with G Hound's Critical Battle. Get some cash. Ah, we have a new cockpit for this one. Record number 13236. One, three, Loading data. Following records were obtained from the Universal Century Dimension Earth Federation's database. These events occurred around the time we merged with the place. Under orders from the Earth Federation Army HQ, the heavily heavy unarmored G-Hound launched into space. Their plan to turn the tables by taking control of the colony laser and using it to put a definitive end to the galactic war being waged.
You must be a new G-Hound recruit. The name's Ensign Riddy Marcinus. To Lane Aim, I pilot the Penelope. It'd be easy to draw flak from the higher ups here, but if we do our best, we should be fine. Do our best? Do our best with what? Mission, what else? Right now we're in the middle of a special mission to disrupt the flow of this war. I guess you wouldn't know being new and all, but our goal is to take back the colony links, which is why the command headquarters G Hound is in commission. That's right, how did you know? Oh right, son of a council chairman. I'm guessing you heard from him. My father's got nothing to do with it. Bro, ease up. No need to get all flustered. He's not flustered. He's just kind of perpetually ticked off because he's been mind whammed by the, uh, um, by the Banshee. He just joined and he's already getting into arguments. What do you expect from a former Londo Bell? Bunch of troublemakers, if you ask me. You're their former Neo Zeon, yes, Yazin. Whoa, have you been here the whole time? That was a long time ago. Get to that lane. We're all part of the G-Hound crew now. Our task is to complete the mission regardless of what happened in the past. Yes, sir, Lieutenant Jared. Someone like that from you of all people, Jared. If you keep running up past worth discussing, it's you. Well, and also you. I mean, your ex Neo Zeon, Jared's an ex Titan. So, yeah. Commander Yazin, you got something to say? Not at all. It is just nice to see that these rookies aren't shaking in their boots. You say so, Commander. But you're, I hope you're aware that I, that I have already earned some experience in G Hound. So if you don't mind, I would appreciate it if you stopped calling me a rookie. You want to you want to lose the rookie title? You need to pass my test. Oh no! Please, not the crotch grabbing test again. Not that. Okay. Wow. Um. So Yasin's apparently sexual harassing. Uh, look at this. Can you survive in any situation? Survive in any situation, huh? That's what Commander Yaz and I have had to do in order to stand here today. That's how he somehow managed to survive. How, how Yaz and managed to survive the colony laser battle, and I somehow managed to survive that battle because we retconned the fact that Camille took me out like really easy with the Zeta. Uh, not really easy. It took me out with the Zeta in the climax of um, Gundam Zeta. We, we retconned that part. Enemies waiting as we've headed far out to pass the ones we fought up until now. Londo Bell, did it be there? Of course, we'll deal with them as well. But first, we've got other business to handle. Neo Zeon. Your old cohort, your, your old allies. Is Neo Zeon sending forces to retrieve the Colony Laser 2? Of course they are. Whoever controls the colony laser controls the political authority. I mean, it's it's the it is it's it's a reusable colony drop. You want to hang on to that. According to information we have now, you managed to make the first move, but no doubt Zeon forces will be right on our tail. We've got to get going. Whether it be us or Neo Zeon, whoever retrieves who retrieves the colony laser, it can only be one of us. There could be only one. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.